TGIF Fish Heads, it is Friday already again. Welcome, welcome. Jen Cravassi from Jekyll Baits. We've got a few pieces to show you. Some you have seen recently, some you probably haven't seen in a while. I think we're going to start out with this little guy right here. You guys saw the Max Nick Crawl a few days ago. This is a mid-diving deep water crawl. Did some blue veins in here on this one. Some blue greens. A little bit of purple accenting. Love the way this came out and it is transparent. So it has a whole different profile on a bright sunny day. And if you're fishing it deeper, as it's getting down there, you're gonna see this beautiful profile. There's not a little, not even a speck of true jet black in here. Um, all you're seeing is a moss green accent. So it definitely looks like the segments are lifted up off the other side. Love that, love how it turned out. I love shooting these patterns. One of my favorites to spray. The eyes, everybody asked me about the eyes. I've had some jets and eyes for a while since the first of the year. Um, I, I kind of hold out on what I'm going to put them on. I don't put them on everything because they're special eyes. They're really, really well hand done eyes from John over at Jetson. If you guys want to look into getting some, JetsonLures.com. Look them up. But this is one of his. It's a smoke gray chrome. We've got a couple of these rats, rat runners, pink belly. And this is a five inch worm with just a one knot. You'll get a couple short strikes, but you, you won't miss many hookups with these. The cool thing about this and I always tell my clients, do not, don't try and texpose this or Texas rig it where you would skin hook the edge because this is a floating worm anyways. Um, leave that hook exposed exactly the way I ship it to you guys. And it's gonna swim true, it's gonna run true, it's gonna be erratic, it's gonna look like a rat in the water. And they are dynamite. You guys can pick those up at www.jekyllbaits.com. They are a regular item under my wake baits. And I might be adding a couple of things to square bills soon. Um, playing around with a couple of different modifications on them. But there is your rat runner. Hornets with black legs. That is that two inch European Hornet. Got a couple of little Johns in this one. This is the Mad Craw, which is an orange speckled with multiple segments. And then we have the Mad Hatter Craw, which is red, really deep red, with white speckle, orange belly. That's the biggest difference is the color. Mad versus Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter is red because they're super mad. And the Mad Craw Looks angry enough. We'll give him that. This is a copper spray on top of everything. Really gives off that pearlescence. Really makes that bait pop. But I love the copper fleck. It almost looks like it's foiled under there, doesn't it? That's just copper. That is a Createx copper pearlescent paint. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the Oki Max with John's eyes on here. Okies have a little bit of gold on their lip, deep red onto the throat, a very clear transparent belly, into a lime green up into a moss green shot with plum pearl on top, and a burnt sienna on the nose. John Jetson, well, John Keminis, Kimenez? Kimenez. Ah, I always mess that up. Sorry, John. John at Jetson. These are his eyes again. Kimenez. 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 Rayburn Red Fade. I'll get it right one of these days, John. I swear. I swear I will. You know, I have difficulty with language on Fridays because it's usually been a really long week. 
This is that Rayburn Red Fade. You'd normally see me do these on those Vision Holographics. This one was requested on that Dinger Duo pressing. This is the 100. Hand painted eyes. Very cool. And I believe that'll do it for today. Oh, I do want to show you this because this is recent. I'm not trying to show you my flip flops. This is drying. Has not lost any structural integrity whatsoever in the paint or the composition. Isn't that beautiful? If you guys want to see the entire pour start to finish, look for it. It's going to be up this weekend. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me. TGIF. We'll talk to you soon.